All right, here we go. Okay. That was an easy one, of course. So now we should just be able to uh, load up. Try to get through this level, wave three, unscathed. So to do this, we're probably gonna have to take out those spheroids early because once these guys come up, the enforcers, I think they're called, once they come on the screen, then I start having problems. So let me just try to take those out early if I can. See, in that case, those the Hulk's blocked me. Oh. Okay. So, I kind of wanted to pick up that guy, the kid, but oh well. Alright, so this is wave four. So let's see. We did it once before. We were able to get through this um, without losing the life. It'll probably take us a little while to do that again, but we'll try. It's probably, you know. And again, there's a lot of like four spheroids here, so. The nice thing about the levels is they, gi they do give you uh, space initially. Oh man, we were close. That was a really good start. See, but as soon as one of them hatches, then I'm in really tr real trouble. Yes, there we go. Okay. Nice. All right, so we're through five, or four, rather. Hey, Trippy. Fun fact. Um, hey, Bess. Uh, Robotron 284 is so brutally difficult that even its creator gets pissed at it. When <laughs> really? I can imagine. I can imagine. Really? So how, how, uh, has there been, um, do you read about that, Reg, or is there a video of that? That'd be really funny. All right, so this is wave five. This one, we're going to lose some lives. Um, I guess if we can, maybe, is there any way we can get through here with only losing like three, two or three? I don't think we took out any brains there. Ah, oh. see, I really wish they would make Mikey a different color. It's ridiculous. Okay, so hang on there. We actually did get through it with losing three, and that was the first run. So if we could do it with three, I think we could do better with two. I think we could make that happen. That said. We'll save it in case, but let's try again with um, trying to lose fewer than three. Enhance interrogation. 2001 book, checked out. Oh, okay, so you read about it. That's cool. I wonder what some of these um, 
those that are alive, of course, these uh, classic arcade game designers, like a lot of them I know left the industry, but I, I wonder what ended up happening to many of them. Did they have, yeah, it's interesting to think about. Oh wow, that was really good. Ah, oh, I edited it. All right. Anyway, that's really good. I don't. We lost only one life. We did probably. We didn't pick up all the people we could have, but I'm not gonna nitpick. We only lose one life in in wave five. I'm all about it. Okay, this one. Not sure how many we want to budget losing, but probably not more than two, so. Yeah, that wasn't good, okay. Oh man. Ah, I wasn't even watching where I was going. I was watching where I was shooting. Yeah, all right, gimme. Okay, let's restart that. That was the Mikey. God, why do they have to make them look the same? One's just slightly smaller than the other. It's ridiculous. Does he really have a Discord chat? I know he's a YouTube. I follow his YouTube uh, channel. Well, all he posts are like 45 second clips of him like boating. <laughs> Kadram and Skart, thank you both for the follows. Welcome. Super Gade. Shigeru Miyamoto went on to be the. Oh, that well, that's true. That's true. But this is like vid vid games, which uh, or vid, was it vids kids, and they uh, I think they went out of business the year after Robotron came out due to the uh, North American video crash. The video game crash. Hey, Skart, welcome. Is that from the uh, Skart cable? Okay, you know what? I'll take it. I think we lost one. I think we lost one life, but I think that's worthwhile. I think we only lost one on that run. All right, wave seven. This is the tank one. So this is the one we're supposed to stay in the middle for, generally. And that's why, because you end up taking all those deaths there. Okay, you know what? I think that's good. I think. Well, do we have two deaths or one? Either way, it was pretty good. We're not going to do much better, I don't think. Well, we probably could. It all depends if we had one death or two. If it was one, we'll take it. If it was two, we should re uh, let's try it again. But all right, it's from uh, sorted from the cable. Just more real. Oh, okay. Scott plus the cable. All right, I like that. I like that. It's kind of neat. Anyway, welcome. welcome. Ooh, that was close, huh? Oh. 
we're trying to get to if you uh, the reason why we're safe stating by the way for those coming in is that the wind condition for this uh, is getting through wave 28 and I don't think I could really get past 10 or 11 if we did not save state so to try to see all of the waves we're just trying to save state after each wave of moderate success oh why did I go back down I'm just trying to get like a clean, ugh, clean break through there. Ugh. Man, quit this. Yeah, maybe if I go diagonally, that's better. It was just low enough to kill us. Uh, we get extra life at 20,000 points, actually. Every 20,000. Hey, Rubba Ducky. Mike? Yes, it did. It's definitely a quarter. quarter money. And this isn't even, like, that tough a level. Okay, so that... That spheroid... Let's just keep on playing. Uh, all the barriers here, these like spiral barriers, just make it really shitty. Just at first, because you gotta kind of clear them out to get some open, open ground. Keep on playing. That's not bad. Oh, that was bad though. Fuck. Well, there went that one. Oh, what the fuck killed me? Oh, it just hatched. Just. Just after I shot it, it just hatched right before I killed it. What the fuck? Still like five? How are there still like six spheroids on screen? How many are there? Five? That's ridiculous. Uh, whenever you pick it, Matt. Whenever you pick it. I wasn't really paying attention. <sighs> See, there are too many spheroids. I gotta figure out... I gotta figure out in this one, there's no way I can take out the spheroids initially. But then once they hatch, it's like death. So, I don't know. And then we can't be... I don't know. Yeah, this is a tough one. I was then I was just contemplating maybe we should just try to defend the center, but I don't think this is one of those. What the fuck?
All right, that was pretty good. Nice. Okay, take it. Take it. That was only one death on eight. I'll definitely take that. All right, so here's the key one. Uh, wave nine. We have lives built up. I guess what would we consider success? Getting through here with five or fewer deaths? Let's see if we can do that. Clipped my foot. <sighs> that was actually pretty good in the sense that I got rid of a bunch of the spheroids. So I'm gonna keep that one. All the spheroids are gone at least. Fuck. So I need a I need in this case I need a aim in the same direction that I'm shooting. Or I'm sorry, shoot in the same direction I'm moving. Until I can get to the edge. Just so I can shoot. Ah. Oh. Alright. I think we can do better. We can do better than that. That was probably like seven deaths or something. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I'm basically doing the most generous settings the cabinet will allow for. Uh, man. When you become more experienced, unique terms you can overhear extends rank leeching. Huh. Is that kind of like cheese? Ooh. Oh, nice. Awesome. Wow, that was really good. I should have save stated in level, but... really good. Oh, fucking spawned right on me. Okay, that was good. That was good. I liked that one. I think we lost three, but including one really unlucky spawn, but other than that, it was really good. Okay, I don't think we're gonna do, I mean, we could do better, but the time it would take to find out, it's not worth it. Let's just proceed to level uh, 10. Wave 10. So I don't know whether those 2084 things kill you or not. Let's just see. They do. I don't... But you can't shoot them, so what the fuck? They're not like barriers. I want to get a sense for the difficulty level of the level before we uh, determine how many lives would be we can afford to waste on it. Okay, three brains left. What? I didn't realize there was a spirit here. Interesting. All right. I think we could probably do that. Maybe a good run would be like three or less. It's definitely not easy, but it's easier than nine for sure. I don't know what to make of the uh, 
the twenty eighty four things though. Reg, do you know what those things are? They don't, they don't give you points. They kill you, but I can't shoot through them. So I have to let enemies go through them or something? I'm not sure exactly how that works. that it was worth going after those men, but... Coconut! Thank you for the two months, the resub! Much appreciated, Coconut. Best two months, oh wow, best two months on Twitch. Best two months on Twitch. That's a, that's a compliment indeed, thank you. Very flattering, thank you. Yeah, oh yeah, we should update our PB. It is wave 11 now. Um... But that's it. We're continuing to want to replay uh, wave 10 because I think we could get it to three or fewer deaths through there. Ideally two. Now that we're getting a better feel for how this level, this uh, wave works. See, that 2084 thing kills me. So I gotta just steer clear of those. There's only one spheroid, which makes it definitely doable. So how many deaths was that? That might have been three. I'm not sure. I'll save it in case, but... I need to do a better job keeping count of how many deaths we're taking per attempt. Ah, oh, you're working nights now. Oh, you're still, yeah. Oh, no, no worries, no worries. I, I did. We did have a later start today, um, so you didn't miss that much. Um, I think maybe we had like three deaths there. I'm not sure though. Oh man. All right, so based on the uh, the way the 2084s are spawned, it seems like going diagonal left is the best way until those are kind of cleared out a little bit more. That's where you kind of have the most room, because you can't really shoot those otherwise. Ah, oh, see, I clipped, I clipped that 2084 sign. move quickly enough. Maybe I can move out to the right there, actually. Yeah, that's like, this actually might be a better position. Okay, that's one. Now most of the 2084s are gone, which is good. Okay, that's two. And there are two brains left. Alright, so that was that was with two, right? Yeah, I think that's good. That's pretty good. And this is wave eleven. Alright, cool. <sighs> Alright, let's see what we have here. Um let me actually check my notes. Is wave eleven anything special? It is not. So we got through a brain wave. Now we have just a sort of a standard wave. It looks like there are a lot of grunts and hulks. 
primarily, but I'm sure some spheroids are going to come in. Yep, there's spheroids. Oh, it clipped me. So hold on here a second. Um, let's just see. Based on the those star things, where should we be moving toward? There's a big concentration of grunts in the right to lower right. So maybe the lower left is the clearest to start with. And there are a bunch of humans there, which is good. So maybe we should make our way over there. A lot of it's going to depend on the spheroids, though. Ah, the hulks are the two hulks. All right, let's just play at the level just to get a sense for how many, for how difficult it, might be. it is under ordinary circumstances. Yeah, there are a bunch of spheroids more than I would like. Oh, I was hoping to run out of there. And those things hatch too soon. Okay. The 5200 version, a coupler? Oh, interesting. I remember they said on the 2600 version, they gave you the option to either have two joysticks, you know, two joystick controllers, one in each hand, or you could uh, just use one joystick, but then you could only shoot in the direction you were moving, which seems like a huge gameplay compromise that I don't know how you could be successful doing that. Oh, that thing didn't die. Oh, you fucker. If that happened, that would have been a good state. Oh, man. All right, I'm kind of getting... At least I can reliably move up here. Oh, that was good. That not as much. Oh, fuck. See, these good, like, initial runs followed by the quick deaths kind of render it neutralize the progress that you made earlier. Alright, so right over. So sneak up through here. Oh, I didn't kill him quickly enough. I gotta be very quick up there. That's better. Oh, I was too quick. Oh, I should have gone for it. I can't retreat. What the hell happened there? That was better. Oh, it's like clicked in there. Geometry Wars. Hey, Lester. Oh, I'm not familiar with that one. Although that doesn't sound good then, <laughs> based on the gameplay of this. The level of difficulty involved with this one. So actually, I don't need to worry about killing that grunt there. I can just... I do need to worry about that spear run. Okay, there we go. See if ha ah, if those hulks weren't there, then I'd then I'd be in a good position. Ugh. All right, let's just play this out from here. Ugh, never mind. Ugh. This is gonna be a tough one. As I'm sure they all would be, but just 
just gotta get some luck. There we go, got rid of most of this sphere right there. Ooh, that was good. Alright, that was really good. Nice, take it. One death. One death. Awesome. Okay, so we have hit new PB. Wait, 12. Oh god, this is what the tank wait. Let's just get play it out for a feel of the difficulty level. Oh, you can move before you're fully uh, spawned, it looks like. Yeah, you can definitely can. Okay, I, I, I shouldn't be moving to the corners, but sometimes it's the only way to avoid the, uh, the hulks, because there's so many of those guys. Alright, we got a feel for the level. Hey, Vinoza. Yes, that's right. Coconut gave, gave out a bunch of gifts. I think 10 gifted subs. There it goes. Ooh. Okay, I feel like I hit, killed so many of them. I don't understand why there's still so many of them here, though. Jeez. I feel like I destroyed so many of the, uh, what do they call them, quarks? That then hatch the tanks. All right, we could do, I think we probably lost about four there. I think if we get good enough, we could do uh, maybe two, two or fewer. I think two two deaths will be our uh, minimum threshold to uh, pass with 12. What? It, ex it hit, it killed me when exploding. See, I think it's like destroyed, but then it still kills me. I don't get that. I don't get that. Or is it just flexing? Is that just its animation? Okay. Yeah, look how many of them hatched down. How are they still not hatched? Okay. At least I got a bunch of people there, but that wasn't otherwise good. There's too many fucking... See, if, if the Hulks weren't there, then you could deal with this. But the Hulks are like the immovable objects, so it's just... Forget about it. Okay, was that two deaths? That might have been two deaths. I'm trying to think. <laughs> no, you are not, Mike. You... You know, I'm not a crook. I think that might have been two deaths. Can't be sure, though. But if we can get two deaths so quickly, we could surely get them again. There's one. Yeah, well, there's two. Actually, I should be waiting to get three deaths, because... Oh shit, I saved it. Fuck. Oh no, damn. All right, we're gonna have to go back to 11. Wait, wasn't 11 the really tough one? Yeah, this is the really tough one. Oh god, all right. We're gonna have to make it back to 12, fuck. Did another save slot management issue. Oh god. Now, even if we are perfect from here, we're still going to have to... Uh, damn. Wait, oh, I think I did a save slot for 13 now. I think we could just do it from 13, and that'll be better. Yes, okay, we'll take this, because this was either 2 or 3, and I think it might have been 2. I have no idea, so <laughs> I cannot even begin to answer either of those questions. 
Uh, oh, so you're saying based on points we earned eight. Yeah. It's too bad that there's a uh, display cap on how many it can show. So you can't, you're, it's kind of a guessing game to know how much. All right, so we're just gonna start here on 13. Did I give out Cedric's for hitting 13? I don't know if I did. All right, we're approaching the halfway point. But yeah. This one looks like mostly grunts, and then I'm gonna guess they're gonna be spheroids as well. Ugh. Damn. No, don't save. Right, hang on a second, I gotta try my keyboard here. See, there are too many barriers, this is the issue. As if life weren't shitty enough. Too many barriers. What the fuck? So we gotta find what's gonna be a good area to move towards. That doesn't have hulks. Maybe, maybe straight east? That's where it looks like there aren't hulks. Hey, Zaku. Let's try straight east. Yeah, that's good. Okay, cool. Oh, how did it, how did he not die? Man, I saw that spheroid coming up. Okay, so that's two deaths. Watch out! A poison snake! Oh, it hatched. Damn. Alright, so east is definitely the way to go out of the gate. Okay, I want to get to a corner so I can take out the spheroid. Oh, how did that one not die? I don't understand. Are there two of them there? Or they're two on top of each other? <sighs> Alright, that's one death. That was at least hard to There are too many spheroids still alive, though. <sighs> two. <sighs> Awful. Three. Yeah, see, and then these hats are just fucking me up, so we gotta do better. Great ass! And you got your head all the way up it! And I just get cornered. See, I'm trying to take out those spheroids, though, because otherwise I just don't have a shot later. Oh, and they hatched already. That's two. Oh shit. That's pretty good. I think we only we only lost two there. I think we should take it. If we can get through levels now with only two deaths, it's probably what we want. I don't know if that's just, that model is sustainable to get us to 28, but we should at least try. All right, so once we beat this level, it'll be the halfway, or this wave, it'll be the halfway mark. Uh, website has in-depth explanation how the tank enemy aims their shots. Isn't that, is that the one that, um, there's one of them where the farther you wear, the farther you are away from them, the faster their projectiles move toward you? Hey, Nora. Billiards, oh wow. Okay, so this is kind of in-depth, wow. That's like really studying it. Okay. So I'll probably take a look at that before the next stream if we're uh, Zillow, thank you. Okay, so wave 14. Um, is this a special one? It looks like it's gonna be a regular one. Uh, no, okay, actually this is a special one. This is a Hulk one. There's gonna be a ton of Hulks here. And I guess all those green lines that you see are about to materialize into Hulks. 
it's looking like going up north is going to be our clearest shot to an edge. But do we want to stay here? That's one. That was a bad one, too. Oh, three. Let's just get a feel for the level. Yeah, you immediately get surrounded, and especially by those hulks, you're kind of fucked. All right, so let's go back. So I guess we go north and then try to go in a run or edge around. I don't know. What? That guy didn't even... How did I not shoot him? It's one. See, then they corner you, but... Two. Oh, there's a spheroid. Shit. Three. Is that the last time? Yeah, okay. So we did it in three. We should... I think we can maybe make that one in one. 39 is the last before the loop? Really? I, I read 28. Shit. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely case by case, Narek, but I was in games like, well, technically the game has 255 waves that'll recognize. But in terms of um, when effectively the enemy configurations start, um, there are no new enemy configurations. It looked like at least what I consulted that it was wave 28, which was the last like new kind of enemy configuration. So what are you seeing at 39 solo that has a different configuration? Okay, that's one. And so I think there are two spirits and I killed one of them. Oh, that's bad too. This, this one is like a whole game of just dodgeball. Getting around those hulks, taking out the other enemies, basically. One. Ugh, so there are too many grunts surrounding me. Didn't kill the spirit initially. Oh, that was a really good start, but we had that problem. Dude, kill that spheroid! How did I not kill it? Two. Okay, we didn't chew. We'll save, but I think we could do it in one or more, or uh, like one or less. This isn't the this isn't the uh, stage is not as hard as it appeared initially. That's one. What the spheroids regenerated? Damn two. What? So all those sounds you hear are like the family getting killed by the Hulks. Take that. All right. Half halfway through potentially. But yeah, we'll have to see what Silo's uh, reference material indicates. Okay. Um, in fact, we could probably put this on stream too. Take a bit of a break anyway, since we're uh, halfway through. Or maybe not halfway through. <laughs> okay. So, 
grunts and nine mix and means exact repetition of waves from four, wave 40 on. Oh, here we go. Oh, so this is actually a very good breakdown of the enemy types per wave. So it's slightly modified from 20 to 29. Oh wow, it's even giving you specific counts of how many. Okay, the, the family we don't care about, so we're just looking at these things. So I guess I wasn't looking at specific numbers, I was looking at more the combinations. What are the things in red? Plateau levels. So does that mean like it's getting more difficult or what do they mean by plateau levels? The yellow I think is meaning that's what the brains are going after. The, the, they're a human target that you kind of have to work around or, you know, kind of keep alive, but don't collect. Hey, it's going to material. So 28 was the plateau. So let's see, how does this grunt mob? Because there are five more people, guys? Is that really the only difference? Oh, I see. So the level itself is really hard, but does that mean the game is ratcheting up a level of difficulty? So in other words, 24 is harder than 23, but does that mean 25 through 27 are also much harder than the, these levels earlier? And then you could say the same from 28 and on is much tougher than this section. Is it like a higher tier, in other words? So the other thing I was looking at, this is what I was using it based on, actually, also the strategy thing suggested. Oh, I see, okay. So it doesn't necessarily, doesn't necessarily mean it's a step up in the game's difficulty from then on, it's just that individual level, got it. Well, how many more do we have then? We're here and we got 24 and 28 and possibly 40. Okay, so at least we're through three of them. <laughs> um, so fifth wave is a brain wave. Seven is a tank wave. So you have to play at least seven. Grunt wave is at nine, ending in nine. So you have to play through at least nine. And then I was looking at this that said, where was their wave set up? Here we go. This is what I was using, I think, to base on 28. So five, seven, nine. Fourteenth wave, you have Hulk waves, which we just we just encountered. That was the wave we just finished. Then at the twenty-fourth wave, you have a combination tank enforcer wave, which we have not yet seen. So you have to play at least twenty-four. Wave twenty-eight, you get a spheroid quark wave. So that's the new. And this didn't make any, see, that's why I thought, okay, wave 28 is the last one where you face something new. Oh, did you? I had a ghost sprint. D did you try uh, actually applying those strats? Playing the game? Oh, is it really? Because you, you can't technically get more than 256 lives. Nail the Mikey trick. Oh, interesting. Um, so going back to this, are they breaking down what's different here? Let's see. Waves end in one, three, four, six, eight. So those are like the normal waves. This is giving me footage, but how is wave 30, 29 different? 40 unique waves, it says, but they're not explaining how. I wonder how many lives I got on stage five, the one that we saved. What's this analysis? 
only means by wave. Okay, so I don't doubt that these uh, figures are accurate in terms of how many there are. Um, but I guess what I would say to that is, even if there are more of them, so for example, this grunt mob at 39 has 80, whereas the grunt mob at 29 has 75, 19 has 70. So there are five more per thing. Hmm. So even if there are more of them, I guess the the combinations of enemies is not any different. 80651. 80651. The last one had 750451. Twenty-nine. Hmm. Mantis thinks that yeah. I think it's twenty-four. This suggested so you're twenty-four is the first time you have a tank enforcer wave. The only thing new on twenty-eight relative to twenty-four, you do have tank and enforcers, so that that's the same. Before this, it was only the spheroids, or I think that should be spheroids, typo, uh, depositing their enforcer robots to make your life miserable. Oh, Earth. 13 months, thanks very much, Earth. For the sub, 13 months. Thank you, Earth, appreciate it. Did you ever make your uh, viewer pick Earth for one year anniversary? I know Morgan didn't, and I think was waiting on... Oh, no, yes, you did. Okay, Portal. There was one other person who needed also, or had, your pick to make. Uh, okay, give me one second, guys. I just got to close the door here. All right, so we needed to determine I understand that the game loops in terms of number of enemies after 40 because that's what this document seems to indicate pretty conclusively. Um, but in terms of like the combination, like the nature or the characteristic of the wave, let's compare 24 to 28. Oh, this is actually quite different. Grunts. This has a ton of grunts. This has none. What? This says 24 is a tank enforcer wave. Oh, which would make sense. There are no grunts. So then why does this say that 28 has 35 grunts? Tank and enforcer. So those are coming in from spheroids and quarks. 5, 1, 6, 7. So one of these is wrong. One of these seems to be wrong. Twenty. This seems to indicate that 24 and 28 are very different. But these descriptions, I can't actually tell what the difference between 24 and 28 is. Yeah, I think I think you're right, Silo. Let's look, let's visit one more source. Um, I think they mentioned 24 and 28 here somewhere. It's the grunt wave. Hulk wave ending in four. So that would be a 24. Yeah. So that would be consistent with this, right? Which had a lot of hulks. Yeah, okay. So I think the game fact is wrong. So that would give us at least a 24. 
Um, I think. Wait a minute. 24. So what's the difference between 22 and 24? Oh, more quarks, I see. <laughs> random guy. Who, who did write? Let's 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 actually identify this random guy. Kevin Butler, A.K.A. War Duck. All right. Uh, reason is most people um, found the whispers to be annoying. Either they didn't know how to access them, depending on I guess if they were mobile or whatnot, or didn't make sense. So. The question is whether we had uh, chat quote unquote spammed or the inconvenient, which was more inconvenient. Uh, Cedric checks in chat for everyone to see or having to uh, access your whispers. And the consensus seemed to be that it was more, the whispers were more inconvenient by and large because a lot of people were using the stats command so they wouldn't have to check their whispers. So I figured, yeah. Yeah, you can still whisper your bot anyway, if you want, to, if you prefer that. Uh, Glitch's last question. Can we make viewer picks on the second gen journey games? No, uh, not currently. And also, well, it's actually a great question, Glitch. Um, I started off with just a simple raffle system, you know, five games ahead, because I felt like that would be the, uh, you know, make it easier. If I don't know if people would want to, uh, I mean, the, the danger is then we get like a queue of 100 games like we do in, in uh, on DOS. And that might be a little crazy with upvoting and everything. It's just kind of, I guess I'd have to think about it. But yeah, if people have thoughts, if people would like to see that, let me know, I'd, I'd love, uh, your input on that. Uh, we would definitely change the system. Anything can be changed. The only thing that would, I would definitely make it different, I would definitely lock in. Um, because it's possible for some of these games, the um, second gen journey games go by quickly. Uh, it's possible for us to you know, play more than one right after another in, in the same stream. So I'd probably want in it to lock in at least the next two to three, but after that we could Maybe it's possible that we could uh, introduce, you know, other elements to it. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Glitch. I would say if we were only doing this, then, it, then it'd probably work better. I also want to make sure, too, that we do play some of the obscure console stuff, which I know people aren't going to pick, and it's not popular. And if we just had a free-for-all, people would, those games would all get pushed to the bottom. Um, but part of this is, at least from my perspective, we're playing the like the really you know the great classic stuff, the very popular stuff, but also the you know learning about some of this is obscure for good reason because it's not very good, but others is kind of interesting. Like learning that the Microvision Nintendo learned from Milton Bradley's problems with the Microvision to turn around a better technical product with the Game and Watch. So it's just kind of cool to pick up on some of that. Anyway, now I'm, now I'm ranting. Um, okay, good night, uh, or not good night. <laughs> good afternoon, good night. thanks again for stopping by. Yeah, sure, yeah. I, uh, yeah, thanks, appreciate that, Maturin. Um And if anyone else has any ideas too, feel free to let me know. Uh, doesn't mean I necessarily do them, but I'm, I'm open to ideas. Uh, I know that the DOS system is pretty complicated, so yeah, I'm a bit hesitant to to make second gen journey as complicated, but if you're two slots like you have system slots, they're spaced out. Um Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The cool thing is, like, there's a ton of there's a ton of different ways you can do it. That's the cool thing. Hey, how's it going, Ed? Oh, you love the Fairchild Channel F? Nice. 
Okay, cool, yeah. Oh, I'm glad you do appreciate it, Briar, yeah. I like seeing the total uh, variety as well. So, Glitch, in, your, in the system that you're envisioning, would you also have uh, upvoting as well? Like buying slots? Or do you think the uh, viewer picks would just be like locked into a number, like to a game number on the upcoming queue? Because that's, I think with the upvoting, that's just where we get kind of crazy. All right, we got to determine what our, what our, if we're adjusting at all our uh, wave number. It seems like there are three different possibilities. Either it's, either we do 40, we stick with 28, or it could be 24. We have to determine, how is 24 different than 28? Well, it's definitely different, but what is 28 introducing that we didn't see before it? Like, for example, actually, look at, look at the difference between 26 and 28. They each have 35, 25, 8, 0, 5, the only difference 28 has from 26 is one orc. That's it. Oh, maybe the humans are different? No, the humans are the same too. Look at that. So I don't know if you guys saw that. Look at, uh, here, I'll even zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, the only difference between 26 and 28 is the uh, one quark. Yeah, it doesn't seem like 28 makes sense. I think, yeah, the game facts was definitely bad. That was misleading. So I think it's either 24 or... Well, actually, speaking of which... 50, okay, yeah, so 26 looks the exact same as 23, for example. So it's either 24 or 40. <laughs> I don't know. Well, the good news with safe staying, I mean, we're already up to 15, so... That's not to say that the rest is going to be a cakewalk, but at least we've been making progress so far. This is Evan in Television, the only three games we played. Shark Shark. We did play one of the Dungeons and Dragons game, uh, Cloudy Mountain. And then there's the Tarmin. Adventures in Tarmin or something, I think was the sequel. So Glitch, how would you envision determining which viewer pick got locked into which slot? Like, how would I prioritize, you know, one person's versus another's? Yeah, we're just trying to showcase the game. This is less <laughs> my own <laughs> ability, because clearly then we wouldn't use save stating. What is the quality gain? Why 24 and not 19? Okay, so let's see, take a look at 19 versus 24. Well, they definitely look very different. So the question is, we just want to make sure that we're seeing all the different wave configurations. Uh, not in terms of number of enemies, but more in the balance of one enemy versus another. So like, you know, you'd always want, you'd want at least one brain wave, which obviously we have, and a tank wave and a grunt wave, or grunt mob as it's called here. But then I think uh, at least the other fact said, 24 was the first time you introduced, I see, six and seven. 13 is Hulks. So that was like Hulks with spheroid, uh, with spheroids and quarks. The first time you saw that would have been here. Both of them. That's what makes 24 really difficult. That's why I can definitely understand that being a uh, plateau level. Because if you scan up here, you never have... That's the first time you ever get spheroids and quarks together. It's always one or the other. So that's why I think we do... We definitely go to at least 24. Wave 30 is the first. Oh, yeah, Materian, yeah, definitely yeah, send me. If you need to write out what you're thinking, definitely feel free to send that to me over uh, Discord. Okay, wave 30 is the first wave in the game to have at least one of every enemy. Interesting. Um... That is true, and it's also a, uh, is it a brainwave? It is a brainwave. Well, a variety of people I don't really, <laughs> a variety of people I don't think 
matters at all, to be honest. Like, I... I mean, there's a big difference between 25 people and 9 people, but, like... I don't think the, uh, the breakdown of the people really matters, right? So why are you guys suggesting that 19 is different than what came before? Because we also had a grunt mob at 9. Just wasn't as many, of course. But I don't think 19 makes sense. I think it's either 24... I would like to end on a kind of a tough note. Yeah, 24. I'm not seeing 28. Because 28 is like 26. So why do they say 28 is a plateau level? Just because of this one extra thing? One quark makes it that much harder than 26? Does that make sense? 10 to 19 looks a lot like 20 to 29. Um, does it? Yeah, I think the only difference is, yeah, like, look at 22 to 24. The real difference here is just you have half and half as opposed to all quarks. 19 looks like the start end of a new loop. Yeah, because a lot of them, like, the grunt mobs are every, every 10 levels ending in 9. And then the brain waves are every every five, so they end in, the levels ending in five and zeros are brain waves. So yeah, that's true. But then you could just make the argument you'd only play, if you played one through nine, you get one of each brain, tank, and grunt waves. I think I'm gonna do 24. I, unless anyone has any other Arguments. It looks like 24 is the last wave with something new, like really new to it. What I'm seeing. Yeah. Well, attainability, uh, I, I don't think I could get by like 10 or 11 playing it straight up. All right, I'm going to do, let's just do 24. Let's see how far we can get. Why is the music going crazy too, by the way? Uh, would it be first bought, first played? Yeah, I just, I just gotta get prepared for a free, like a free for all, cause like. 20 or 25 people are going to buy stuff within like the first week but then like that 25th game is not going to be played for like months yeah so I, I'd want to go a slightly different way about it I'll, I'll think about it though it's not a bad framework just have to think about the, the details but yeah thank you oh new chair nice cool all right, uh, so what? we're on 15, right? Okay. And this is a brainwave. Uh, so we haven't yet determined what, what's feasible here in terms of uh, uh, how many deaths we should take to go through. Okay. I think we could probably do this in two or less. New Pixarm raffles going to second gen. Oh, you're suggesting intermingling them? Which? Oh, shit. Meaning that you could, if you win a DOS raffle, you could pick a second gen game? For some reason, my rate of firing seems to. See, this is a bad Mikey wave. This is a bad Mikey wave because 
It's hard to differentiate on, first, on a quick glance Mikey from the grunts. I take a lot longer to spawn than the other people. Oh. Just got my foot there. Oh. If it weren't for those bolts, I would have been home free. Right still here, jeez. Alright, so we did it in three. We should be able to do it though in two or fewer though. Yeah, definitely some stuff to move. Uh, I have to figure out what's a good direction to go in. Maybe to the I kinda wanna clear out the brains though. I don't know. It's I think I just need to be sh I need to be getting clear to it. Well, actually, no, the brain gun's supposed to be staying in the middle, actually. Take it back. That one, I kind of got chased out. Oh, interesting. I took out most of the grunts. Almost made it out of there. One. <sighs> Why did they have to make them both red? Why? Oh, 
Oh, one. Oh, two. The good news is the sphere takes a long time to match. See, this is why I'm not supposed to be going into the corner here. Those are the lightning bolts basically trap me. But funny and difficult to stay alive in the middle, too. Should I be? Does anyone have any? Which direction should I move at the start? Ugh. Maybe the left hand corner. Problem is that focus there. Ooh, that was good. Maybe I should just, I don't know if I'm, it's taking a while to try to get an attempt to pull three. Then I'm just like getting chased down by those lightning bolts. Oh man. Too many grunts still left. <laughs> hey bro. Yeah, isn't it pretty crazy? This isn't even like that hard a level to be honest. Relatively speaking. Shot there to make it in two. Two deaths. One. Ah, oh, I moved too quickly. Shit.
If I didn't have the barriers, it'd be a lot better. Yeah, I do like moving to the left, upper left corner, because I'm able to take out a lot of those brains up there. Very difficult and they're moving quickly. You need a color cue to tell you what's good and what's bad, and they're the same. The same sprite that's red is both good and bad. Why? Uh, did we do that in two? I wasn't even paying attention. I was writing about the colors. I don't know if we did that in two. It definitely was at least three, though, so. Let's save it, but I don't know. Ah, okay, I need to do a better job counting. that grunt still there? Actually, I should just continue to play that. If I can take out that northwest corner... I don't know, I can't there, but that's generally pretty good. Because there's so many brains there. The first death. That's sustainable. I have no idea how many lives I have. Okay, good, too. That's confirmed, too. Okay, we'll, we'll do it with that. All right, what, which, so this is 16. Now that we have that guide, it can at least tell us the composition of what 16 is. So this is a normal wave. We have 35 grunts, 25 electrodes, three hulks, and five spheroids. Okay, the spheroids are the toughest ones, so those are the ones we gotta get through. All right. And they look to be, have three in the right and two in the left. That's one. Oh, I didn't even see where I was on the screen. Two. So we have to find a, where should we start toward? Uh, There's too much shit in the bottom right corner. We want to take out the spheroids. One comes at us. So it's probably best to go north and then take out any spheroid, like on the way, take out a spheroid. And then if there are any in the corners, get them there. Let's try going to the north edge. 
Okay, that was pretty decent. I got clipped there, but it could be a sustainable strat. Ah, see, and then they hatched, and I'm just kind of fucked. Three. Oh, okay. So we can do it in three pretty easily, so that means we should be able to do it in two. There's still three left, though. Sure. Ah, two Hulk. Yeah, I, I need to. I need to kill them uh, faster. Oh, I walked into an electrode. One. Two electro or uh, two spheroids. Ah, that was a bad one. Ah, oh, I was pointing in the wrong direction. Maybe I should go left there. Oh, he hit me in the back. What's an enemy? Okay. Oh, how did I die there? Okay, it's one. I'm not, I'm not sure whether to go left or right. Left or right first. Thing. Maybe I should try left. The problem there are too many barriers there. Taking a while, but at least we're getting through it. I just don't know whether this this uh, two lives per uh, wave is going to be a sustainable model. Uh, if we have to get through 24, and that means we have 17, 18, 19, plus 5. So that means we have eight more waves, uh, meaning we'd need at least six, 17 lives. And there are probably going to be a couple of them that are going to be much tougher than that. Well, I guess we'll pick up lives along the way. All right, that's fine. All right, so this is 17. This is a... Um... Oh, yeah, I forgot we have this document now. What happened to it? Uh, 17 is a tank wave. We have 14 hulks and 12 corks. Oh, this sounds terrible. But at least no spheroids. But yeah, this is going to be like a stay in the middle type of situation. 
now, right off the gate. Yeah, these things just fly around like crazy. Like, how do you, how do you really avoid them? <laughs> trying to use a strategy of which I just kind of fire around me. Ugh. Uh, so. It's pretty good. One. So we did it in three, so let's try to do it in two. Jeez, so I'm already getting slaughtered from those guys. Oh, okay, that's one. Ah, two, damn it. That one always gets me, the one that's coming up there, so maybe it moved out of the way there. Such a good first one too. First stretch. Oh, there's that. So move left. Two. All right, wave eighteen. Oops. All right, this one is a normal wave. Uh, Thirty-five grunts, twenty-five electrodes, eight hulks, and five. Ah, the spheroids, right? So this is kind of like sixteen, more or less. Except there are five, uh, five more hulks. Great. Uh, oh, and I hate these are the worst barriers, too, because they're the biggest. Bleh. So right away we did it in two. So that suggests that we should be able to do it in one. Good. Not a good start. Best direction to go from initial. Alright, it's probably not worth replaying this. Maybe I should just take it. Go to 19. Oh, 
Oh, come on, how did I not kill that? Let's just, let's just take the, uh, we'll take it and go to 19. All right, uh, 19. This is a grunt mob, 70 grunts, three hulks, five superroids. Uh, so this is like nine. This is the first grunt mob we've had since nine. So this is the one that's really gonna eat our lives. Fortunately, it's the last one we'll have, but uh, we're gonna need to get through uh, probably like four, uh, five, five deaths or less would be considered good here. Hey, Walter. I really don't know how many lives we have. It's a problem. Oh, he just clipped. Well, not just clipped me, but two, three. Damn it! Right, one was not going well. <laughs> Spheroid right, right off the bat. Oh. That was, that was almost a really good start there. What? It spawned right on top of me, thanks. Right, I just wanna make it to an edge. Spirit again. We haven't gotten killed by a grunt, just spirits. Three. Oh man. Four. Fuck. Five. Right. Start over. All right, that was super good. That's one. Two. Nice, okay, awesome. That was really good in two. We did it in two. Very nice. Okay. We got uh, level 20, or wave 20. This is another brainwave. Great. I always have trouble with these. Ah, oh, hey, Shabby. Mega bite. Well met. Well met. Uh oh, did our did our guys go down? Do we only have six men on the board? I've forgotten what the max display is. Then we could be in trouble. We could be in trouble. Hmm. I'll we'll see. Yeah, shit. Yeah, so we can't afford to lose more than two. Two per per level is killing us. Damn. 
<laughs> That's one way to put it. That's one way to put it, Shabby. Yeah, the, those 2084s, I thought they were like points or something. No, they kill you. Those things kill you, and you can't even shoot them, which sucks. All right, let's just see. The way these are materializing, what's the best route here? These are brains, so there are many concentrated in that upper left-hand corner. So I think we want to go firing in that direction generally, but the 2084s are the blockers, so we definitely don't want to go down left or down right. So it definitely looks like up is the way, but there are grunts around them. Uh, yeah, I guess we move up toward the left. I, I don't know whether this run is going to work, to be honest, to get to 24. We don't have enough lives. We really, and this, this is the, is this the one we're supposed to get lives, the brainwaves? How many, um, there actually is a good mixture of all of the people here. No, it's only 888. Oh, that's 24, yeah. Okay, so I guess th this is a p this is a, a level you're supposed to pick up lives. It just has a distribution of them. All right, equal. Mm -hmm. One. Oh, there's a fucking spirit here. Three. So we can't afford to do it on three. <laughs> can, can we go back and call it on 19? <laughs> 19 is the as the win condition. Uh, that, was, that was actually a really good starting run too. That was not. Oh, my, my thumb slipped off. So I just like stopped firing. Oh, Shabby! Thanks for the gift sub to Iggy Dota. Much appreciated, Shabby. I don't think Iggy's been on the channel in maybe seven or eight months, but thank you. Thank you, Shabby. Much appreciated. 34 gift subs. Incredible. Thank you, Shabby. Ah, I retreated too far down. Ah, it's a name you remember. All right, there you go. Oh, damn it. Shabby. Much appreciated. Thank you, Shabby. Oh. Couldn't they have made one of these guys like wear a green a green suit instead of a red suit? Twenty eighty four killed me. Yeah, I don't, I'd have to do like do this run all over again and then have better thresholds. Unless I can clean up on this level and get a lot of extra lives. 
See, I can't even see from the guys dying and then the fogs and the rainbow colors. I can't tell what's what's a death and what's not. Or what's danger. So hang on, let's go to one. How many lives do I have here? Oh man, I didn't even get any lives on that last one. That sucks. So how are you supposed to pick up so many lives? You have to get pick up a ton of people before you die, before the the point total resets, I think. Hey, Sharpie. I guess so. Man. So where do I pick up all the people? Jeez. One. Oh, here's a bunch in the middle here. Oh, I need to go away. Two. Sure. Three. I could still actually end up with more points, but. Oh, four. Well, now, yeah, I know. Now it's not better. So I can actually lose more lives on this level than I did on the save state if I can pick up more lives with people. First life, just run for the biggest group of people, okay. So it seems to be around here. Well, I just ran into a guy. So let's, where is the biggest group of people? I guess toward the bottom right, but how am I gonna get by the, all those, the, the 2084s are kind of like a barrier protecting them and I can't really shoot through there. I guess we'll try it though. We haven't tried going down that way. Did we get any lives there? I can't tell. Okay. Easy. Fine. Quick death there. Six people is one up. So if I start off shooting diagonally this way. Oh, see, then they moved. They moved, so I, I wasn't able to get to them in time. So I can't go down to the right. I have to go sort of directly southeast like this. Ah, fucking twenty eighty four. Again, why do they have to make them the same color? Oh. Yeah, this is definitely this is this is a very brutal game. Very brutal game. Sorry to ask, how is my gift sub stuff? Uh what do you mean, Chevy? You're up to 35. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Chevy. I'm, not even, I'm actually not even quite so sure that's the most people here. Yeah. Yeah, see, going for the people, though, I just end up dying because I end up focusing more on getting the people than actually, like, avoiding enemies. That's my problem. One... Oh, I didn't even see that spheroid hatch. Shit. Oh, what the fuck? Nice. Okay, this is the same, I think, as our save spot on net unbalance in terms of live count, life count. Yeah, I think Ge Geometry Wars was inspired by this, is the consensus. One. 
Oh, I thought those were fucking Mikey's. God damn it. I need to take out enough brains there. Oh, you can't shoot the 2084s, I think. I didn't realize you could do that. I think I tried to and it didn't work. Maybe you can only hit him from like a particular side or something? Dude, how? Why fucking die? I don't know why that guy did not die. That was not good because I didn't choose a I didn't choose an area to go. I should have kind of played that out. What? Hit my head? The sign? Two spheroids, jeez. Alright, one sphere. Alright, so this is, this is kind of matching our best that we did. Yeah, I really should have gone. Yeah. Now I'm just kind of like. Now I'm a little demoralized. So maybe we shouldn't have settled on 16. Was it 16 that I settled or 17 that I settled? One of them I did the first run with two lives lost. And then I remember commenting, saying we should we should be able to do this in one since we did it so easily with two. But I think I only tried like three times. Huh, I'd have to go back. That probably would be our best opportunity to pick up an extra life. But anyway, let's just continue. Um, we have the other save slots. We can go back to them. I guess which we'll need to. This is a... Uh, oh, we're going to do 21, which is a normal wave. Yeah. Wait, did we get... Is this... Yeah, 21. So we have four four to go with six lives, basically. Yeah, that's going to work out. Oh no, I forgot we had five lives, shit. Well, let's just get a feel for the level. Damn, spheroid. 
That's the thing, if they didn't have so many spheroids, you know, oh yeah, wasn't ready. Ah, oh, it wasn't firing in the right direction. Clipped me. Yeah, problem often is we don't have we don't have lives. <laughs> Even with safe stating. We don't have enough lives to get through this, I don't think. Alright, so going to the northeast I think is good, but So shoot up first then. See I just have to wait for that sphere to clear. So move slightly down. I move too far left. I just need to start firing northeast instead. Ah. Oh yeah, that was better. Oh yeah, I forgot I can before I spawn I can be moving. Yeah, there we go, that's better. I forgot that I can move while I'm spawning. That really helps you clear out a bunch of guys because you're moving before they sort of are moving. It's like getting a head start in a race. So maybe I can go. Can I move to the left here? I guess I could try. Closed in on me too fast. Yeah, that doesn't work. So I gotta take those guys out on the way, I guess. Try playing this game. Oh, Should I be moving to south? What? How did I not kill that spheroid? It's ridiculous. Killed me? Okay. okay. Why is it making more elongated death moves? I think we need to be able to do this level in like one death or less. Yeah, I should not have moved left. Oh, there's a Hulk there. Fuck, see, that, that Hulk is just the immovable object. Like, I can't move to, I can't I can't go that direction. Okay. It's the quickest way to get to the edge. 
So then I guess I should be firing southeast as soon as I get up there. <sighs> see, that Hulk kills me. Okay. So let's think about maybe there's a better direction to go. Let's see. South, there's not much, huh? Why didn't we try going south? Did I not? Oh, maybe I didn't load, that's why. Yeah, there's more shit now. That was after I killed a bunch of dudes. And there's too many uh, barriers there. That's the problem with south. Too many electrodes. Now, there's definitely a path here. This is insane. Yeah, I think I just need to like mix up my movement. It's too tight to go along the northern edge, so I think I need if I shoot and then come back. The idea is that we've cleared out some space in which we can maneuver. We kind of were doing that last time. And then I might get lucky a little bit. That's why I need to be careful. Clearing left does nothing for me. Well, I'm actually I'm just trying to clear my position left, but yeah, point taken. So I guess I can sprint diagonal, uh, splint, sprint northwest while shooting sort of east. I guess we'll try doing that. See, this is the this is why I was able because I'm not shooting that way. I'm running to guys that way. Okay. Oh, we almost had it. Damn it. That's pretty good. That's one. That was actually really good. Oh, sweet. There we go. Wow. So we almost, we were, if we had gotten that spheroid, we would have had a perfect run. Uh, hey, Tin Pot. Less movement is more. Mr. Driller. Stay in the middle for a few seconds first, then head upwards. <laughs> yeah, I'm very bad at this too. All right. So wave 22. The problem is we have five lives left to beat three levels. Uh, and I don't think any of them, none of them are like a brainwave, which is like a life getting opportunity. So I don't think this is a winnable condition. <laughs> Unless any of them are, we did like a perfect run on one of them, maybe. That's the problem. I don't think we, I don't, I really don't think we can do it. We probably needed a perfect run the last one, to be honest. And we were one enemy shy of doing a perfect run on that. Uh, okay, so this is 22. This is a tank wave. So this is 15 hulks and 12 corks. That, oh, yeah, I hate this one. Because these are the ones that are sp sp have all that spinning shit that moves really fast in the middle. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is one where you could get lucky, though. That's, that's the fair part. So I found just... Indiscriminate firing like that sometimes it works out the best. Just because those things just move all over the damn place. So just in order to kill as many as, shoot down as many as possible. Oh wow, that was that seemed really good. I don't know how many guys I actually killed though. 
Too many fucking hawks. Yeah, well. So we did that in three. Uh, obviously, it's not worth going forward with, but um, oh, I'm gonna save theirs for yucks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right, Dinfa. That's right. So the, the the hardest part about the stage is, well, it's probably most stages. It's just at the beginning is just being able to uh, take out enough, enough stuff here without dying. Oh, fucking Hulk. So I'm wondering, just to move away from the Hulks, but then we gotta shoot all these fucking Hulks. Oh, that was pretty good, but oh, man, they hatched so many. I don't think I... T Even though I stayed alive a long time, the problem is I didn't... Um, I didn't kill enough of them early. I was like running around, but I wasn't actually destroying them. That was the issue. So yeah, if you guys have any uh, recommendations for this one, please let me know. The problem is they, they just move around so quickly, it's not like... It's hard to get like a real... So I'm kind of trying to move to the... At least because I'm free of the hulks, but... It's not, it's not necessarily helping me destroy these before they hatch. Yeah, we're averaging a death probably like every three seconds. Oh, it hatched right in my head. See, I can't tell whether the, the things have been destroyed or it's just the regular animation. They don't make enough of a distinction. There, there are some graphical problems with the game that's making it harder than intended. Both like what's what's destroyed and what's not, as well as um, the Mikey being looking too close, too, too much like the grunts. Oh, I'm kind of trapped here. Two. get raped there. So this is why you don't want to be on the, the sides or corners for when those things emerge. But you don't have much choice because otherwise you're in the mix you're mixing it up with the hulks and it's like forget it. So this is like find it is really difficult. Oh come on. How are those not hatched yet? Fuck you. I'm gonna try going to the right this time. What the? How are these things not being destroyed? Are they? Can they only be shot when they're in, they're in the contracted form? Is that what's going on? What the? I guess there's a Hulk, yeah. What the fuck hit me? Take 
Ridiculous. Things just randomly explode in my head. Hug the edges while shooting towards the center, but skip the corners. Okay. Yeah, because that's when they start like uh, ricocheting around and you're kind of fucked. Get fucked anyway, but... See, the problem with being here is then I'm too far away. The hulks block my ability to, sh to kill more of the tanks. starting to hate this game, I have to say. It just, like, unnecessary. I mean, I know it's a quarter much for an arcade game at all, but it's just like... Uh, is that our first death? It might have been. Where is the guy? Oh, nice. Okay. So if we can we do two all right i'll take it i'll take it we have t five lives for two levels what's our next um extra life score clearance the center of edge is the safest place to avoid bounce shots cool thanks print all right which one is this this is 23 which is a normal wave okay and then the last one, 24, is going to be one we haven't really seen before. Uh, which features a lot of... Uh, what is a feature? Oh, yeah. Spheroids and corks. <laughs> that will be brutal. So I think the goal here, probably we try to get one or... If we make it with two, we'll try 24. But likely we're going to have to have one or fewer here. One or perfect. And if it's a normal one... we. If we played long enough, we should be able to do that. Did I uh, save? I don't think I saved. Definitely save. Oh, I should have taken stock of the level. I did not. Okay, so let's see. We got three spheroids in the top right, two on the left. Lots of electrodes. Um, I kind of want to get those spheroids early, but I don't know what their initial flight patterns are. So I'd kind of like to move to the northeast corner, take out as many of those as I can before things get hairy, but let's see how the uh, enemies develop in the first few seconds. All right, and I, I definitely should be moving. Oh, I had a window to go back the way I came, but I didn't take it. Oh, damn. I think this is two or three. Okay, I think that was with two. I think that was with two. So could we do, I mean, yeah, let's just try try level 24 with three lives. Now we know, uh, since we did 23 pretty quickly, we could probably do it with two if we need to. But look, first, before we start trying to optimize that, let's see if 24 is doable with three. Oh, thank you, Brad. Thank you. A little nervous here, a little nervous, but yeah, let's... Uh... What do we have to lose, right? Okay, so this one, the good news is there are not too many enemies. Well, let's see. 
There are 13 tanks, which we can't do anything about. There are only 13 enemies to kill. The problem is they're all spawning enemies, so meaning they'll get a lot more, specifically the enforcers. <sighs> okay, let's at least try it. Uh, the way... You can see those orange dots are the spheroids, and then I guess the blue ones are the quarks, which get the tanks. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about the people at all here. I'm just, so let me just try going. Hmm. I guess we'll have to just see where they move first. The Mikey trick. Oh, well, we'd have to go back to fifth or to 20 for the last Mikey. Oh, but Mike, no, there weren't enough Mikeys there. We'd have to go back to five for that sprint. That's the first time the Mikey trick happens. Yeah. Oh wait, did we actually, oh, did we just get a new life somehow? Yeah, okay, so we get a new life very quickly. So we actually can do this. The good news is we have this, we're able to do this on four. We have effectively four lives. Yeah, I, I think we're calling this the game done at 24, though, Sprint. So we don't need to play 25, because this is the last one where they're really... Uh, this is the first time that we're seeing no grunts um, and just, like, quarks and spheroids. So this is, like, the last new enemy configuration, essentially. <laughs> Oh man, I can kill anything there too. Okay, I think we. Ah, oh, there's those two, two steroids left. Ah, oh, I would have had a shot there if I could got. I could have gotten under the Hulk. And uh, we had an open left-hand corner to just take out a lot of guys. Effectively, the the, the enemies do technically, I guess it doesn't loop until after stage 39 material, but there are no new enemy configurations after 24 is what we decided. Uh, you walk faster diagonally. Yeah, that's right, Alkman, that's right. Ah, oh, that was bad. Okay, so we're better off going to the northeast. Okay, that's one. Oh, that hatched. Oh, we were so close. We were two, <laughs> two enforcers. Two enforcers in there. Yeah, that was not that productive. I wasted time there. Yeah. Okay, so I need to kill, like, try to kill two spheroids, like, right off the bat. I don't know why I went for Mikey there. Ah, uh, ricochet, center. Yes! 
Yes, we did have oh with two lives to spare too. There we go. <laughs> okay, I did I did not think we were going to make it. Uh, based on how many uh, <laughs> based on how many lives we had, but we were able to make it just enough to uh, complete Robotron 2084. We have made it to the final enemy configuration, wave 24. We get through them. Ah, uh, they get through it. Briar Cub, thank you for the 90 bits. Appreciate it. Oh man. Wow. Uh, okay. We have two left lives left, so we could try the Mikey trick for fun. Oh man. And wow, over a thousand deaths. I didn't even notice that the uh, the death counter there got messed up. Appreciate everybody. Well, I mean, look. Obviously, we stayed stayed the hell out of that game, but. Um, I don't know, for those of you who were playing it, how, how far were you able to get without save state? <laughs> Ted that? Yeah, 1,038. Oh, man. That's just a game of attrition, isn't it? So many deaths you could get. Wow. Thank you, Zillow, for the pick. I guess we'll, we'll just play out our last two deaths. So with this Mikey trick, the idea is... Lee, don't pick up Mikey. Pick up all the women while taking out everybody else. <laughs> well, that lasted long. <laughs> oh, man. Let's enter our initials. We'll do it for real this time. Hey, we finally overtook Willy Electrix for number one on the all-time heroes. <laughs> oh, man. So here's, I mean, I think the game, it, the game is a great premise. I think that it just, um, look, obviously, I guess it's understandable because it's an arcade game. But if you made a console game like that, it'd be great if the difficulty weren't ramped up so quickly. So if they had like, if they had more gradual increase of difficulty, like if you, and that was on the easiest difficulty possible with the arcade settings. So that wasn't even standard arcade. I mean, this game is brutal. Um, so I'm thinking in like a console context, if they just made the game not as difficult, I think like the gameplay is there. It's just, it's so difficult. Thanks for covering games different from everyone else. Oh, thank you, Elfbud. Appreciate that. 